first. In the corner to my left from Arkham, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, Simon Grimm! His opponent in the corner to my right from Killer Hills 10304, weighing in today at 250 pounds, Tony Teddy! Snake Bitten presented by Limitless Wrestling and I should be joined or I am about to be joined by Josh Briggs who is definitely staring down one Chris Dickinson who poked his nose into your match a little bit earlier and uh, I'm not sure if it did or didn't but I think it cost you a big win here in Limitless Wrestling. Honestly as far as I'm concerned I've lost two times in a row and that's the only two that have mattered. I lost to Chris Dickinson and tonight I lost to Andrew Everett because of Chris Dickinson. I am not a fan of Chris right now. I know you're not, I know you're not but we still have a job to do here and, and I understand that he was out trying to interject himself but uh, I don't think that's smart of you to do in this match. And I, I would appreciate if you did it. Honestly, I don't really care. At, at this point, at this junction in my career, I don't really care about anything. Well, Chris, how about I tell you the, the mean things he said about you? Would well, that help? Lay one on Because if me. you like being angry, well, he said you're inexperienced. He, he poked uh, fun at the fact that, what, you're two, two and a half years in. And uh, he said you're inexperienced, and it's going to cost you a lot of matches. Honestly, that, that's, that's fine and dandy. Chris can be the gold grizzled vet, and I can be the new young kid. The fact is that I've had more success in two and a half years than Chris Dickinson had in 50. Oh, boy. Uh, able to apply a toehold there to push uh, Simon Grimm right over. Some nice bit of catch wrestling. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and be as impartial as I can. That's fine. You I, can I be partial. Say, will, Let's just make sure that we call the match. Well, I understand. I mean, Chris. Chris is one of the best in, on the planet at this. This. This real life. So hard let, let's stop right now because if you're going to sit here and you're you're going to say all these things and then you're going to say he's one of the best, is he really one of the best? Is that how you actually in, think? In, in or are you saying opinion, that because you're a professional wrestler? Right. In that's my what opinion, we have to Chris do. is one of the best at some of the okay. things that he does. There you go. Okay. Let's hear the. Let's hear it now because he gave you the business back when he was out here. But I want to hear it from you. I don't want to sugarcoat it. Yeah, Chris is good. He caught me slipping. I, I lost. He kicks. Real goddamn hard, and he kicked me in the head a couple too many times for me to handle. Right. That is honest. That is as true as it's going to get. That does not change the fact that I don't like Chris right now. Have you ever liked Chris? Yeah, me and Chris used to be friends. Okay, all right. Well, obviously some bad blood. Oh, it's having great with this. That was really unique. Yeah. Good really unique. Grim. Some British-style uh, world of sport wrestling right there. A little escapology, if you will. Yeah, yeah. I don't know nice. if you notice this, but Grimm is uh, since missing his uh, patented mustache. Oh, I think that was a completely different guy. Was that his brother? Oh, a little figure seven rolled right over. This, this is what I'm talking about. Chris, real, real good at this stuff, Real man. good he, wrestler, but he's also not a, not able to finish that hole. He's just got a toe hold on. He's too cocky, man. He, he, he thinks that he's, he's so big and strong and burly right yeah, now, man. Can, he can just throw. He, he doesn't have to slap on the technique the way that he normally would. Yes. Generally, with that move, you roll him over and you apply your other foot as a trailer hitch, but he wasn't able to do it. And so, oh, Simon Grimm working from the bottom here. Not something you often see in professional wrestling, but it can be a great tactic if you are good at fighting off your back. But Chris Dickinson able to pass his guard right into a side control. Yeah, if you're if you're a fan of mixed martial arts, I think this is the match that'll be right down your alley. Yeah, mixed martial arts, catch wrestling, it could be anything, even jujitsu, because a lot of these tactics can be applied in both. Wow, look at the power. That's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty strong. Yeah, strong. Is probably, what, like, yeah, two, four, He actually came right out now. screaming because there was a, uh, a a weight scale in the bathroom. He's 255! You know, he's obnoxious, but they were just screaming it across. Oh, look at this. Nice toe hold. See, he's burying that elbow into the inside of the knee as he pulls on the toe, causing a lot of pain. Chris Dickinson not showing you, but that is a painful maneuver. I mean, and Grim, Grim, not for nothing, has some pretty thick thighs, man. I, I don't know if it was all his time down in Orlando or not. He but, is a big boy. He is, he's pretty strong. He is a big boy. 
it's deceiving. You know, you see him next to the big show or something like that, but here he is a big guy. Yeah. Chris Dickens did a nice arm bar, but too close to the ropes. Wasn't able to apply it for long enough to do much damage, but you can see he didn't pull on that bicep tendon as uh, Simon Grimm favors it a bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone heard the Limitless crowd. They are really appreciating this right now. There's nothing, nothing but respect flying from that uh, Limitless crowd. Nice little kick. Just uh, showing Chris Dickinson that he's not scared to kick either. Yeah, oh. that, that might not be. Yeah, that, see that. Oh, you know, you. Oh, I kick mean, on the night. ear. You, you can count to a thousand right now. Dickinson. If there's some guy you don't want to throw a kick at or get kicked by, it's Chris Dickinson. Makes sense. You know, sometimes you have a game plan going in and uh, it doesn't work out for you. You can see right there, Chris Dickinson wasn't having any of that. Gave him the kicks, kicked him right on the ear with the point of his toe. Brutal kicks. Oh, wait a minute. All right. All right. I respect the gusto. I respect the moxie here. But. He's got those strong legs. He's able to huck those kicks as hard as he can at the thighs and the chest and the midsection. Chris Dickinson now driving the, the boot to the face. Oh, and he washes it right off. People don't understand, when you boot wash someone like that, you're dragging that, their face that, across. That throws off your equilibrium, so it messes bad. your eyeballs up, your nose. People don't really, it can grab your ear and just roll your ear on itself, and that is a painful thing. Oh. All right, throwing some meat right now. I mean. Oh, nice this chop. The, this is the match that Chris Dickinson wants, he, he feeds all. Oh, head and arm suplex. Oh, you know, that, that Beautiful. There's a nice neck wrench on that, bringing him straight over. So that, that's, that needs to be Simon Grimm's game plan right now, is tossing him around and wearing him down with these holds. Chris loves these strike fests, and I mean, right now, this Simon Grimm's got him exactly. Chris Dickinson able to, to lock his hands. Oh, nice transition into a short arm scissor there by Simon Grimm. Chris Dickinson wasn't going to allow him to get that arm bar, so he transitioned right over here. And if you can lock into a Short arm scissor, really nice. You can pop that elbow joint. Don't, don't let Chris Dickinson fool you, man. He's a brute, and he loves that Japanese strong style wrestling, but he is a big-time fan of mixed martial arts, too. And a big so, part of that Japanese strong style is being is, a great wrestler, yeah. being a great technical wrestler. There's been... Oh, oh the little uh, small joint manipulation outside the ref's view, pulling on those fingers. Is that illegal? I think it is illegal, but hey, he's a veteran. You know, you can yeah, do what you, you want as long as you get away with it. Yeah. Where's he gonna put that thumb though? Butthole. Where's he gonna put that thumb butthole. though? Butthole. 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 Oh. oh! Did he extend Chris Dickinson's thumb and jam it right into the mat? Oh! Right, oh, right in the face. Oh. Right in the face and Chris Dickinson is pissed! You, this is what Chris wants. Oh, what's he choking him from the outside? Oh, look at that, bending the I back mean, of Chris Dickinson. Uh, I think Chris, I think that fire that Chris just lit up on uh, Graham has pissed him off a little yep, bit now. Yeah, did piss him off. A little bit more gritty now. You want to you smack me that hard? I'll choke you out. Oh. Nice knee right to the temple. Ooh. Mean pin there, driving the elbow right to the side of the face of Chris Dickinson. Little known thing, understand, if you cover both those ears, if you drive an elbow into the ear and you place the other ear on the mat, you can't hear that, that mat getting That's counted. True. It sucks. That's true. You just kick out as fast as you can, if you can. Look at that. Oh! Death Valley driver oh, takes out Simon Grimm! Chris Dickinson not out of this one, able to muscle him up. That might have been Dickinson's last resort there, and I mean, I would not be too upset if they both just stayed down at this point. Seemingly even, even oh, the playing Dickinson field. Jesus Christ! Just oh, like and a big chuck. Oh, oh, these guys okay, just fighting. This is what we want. This is oh, lighting up the chest. Of Simon Grimm. Rest in peace to those boots. Oh, he's having none of it. Shots to the jaw. Flying knee. Oh, and Alarian takes him on his knee.
What the? What is wrong with this crowd, man? Hmm? What is wrong with this crowd? Dirty daddy chants all throughout this place. Hey, hey, just because you don't like them doesn't mean everyone has to hate them. Limitless Wrestling fans respect the wrestler who puts their all into the matchup. And Chris Dickinson is not taking no for an answer tonight. He is trying to win. He's trying to be the best. Can you blame him? Look at Graham's chest. Oh, oh he is God. beat. I don't know if that'll register on that camera. He's Jesus, gonna have varicose veins on the chest after oh. this night. Chris Dickinson. Oh, and a boot. Point of the toe on the right in the chest again. Yeah, right man. In the Point chest. of attack is the chest tonight. Oh, and a really tight clothesline around the throat. Simon Grimm not able to even defend himself. Second Death Valley driver takes him down. Oh, able to get out again. Still a lot of fight left in Grimm, even though he was taking all those shots right there. I really respect that, man. He is a, he's a great, tough competitor. You know, if, if Grimm can pull out the win on Chris here, man, I might have to go shake his hand in the back. He, I, just at this point, it seems Chris Dickinson has an answer for everything he he has up his sleeve, you know? It's, yeah. I think... Simon Grimm, to win this, needs to take him back down. You know, toss him to the mat, just like this, baby! Get on him for one of those submissions, but oh, no! Is Chris Dickinson getting up? How is he able to stand yeah, after that? Just, his goddamn neck is so thick, he can take all this. And a German suplex with the bridge, two! Chris Dickinson Stays pivots off. his hip. Just, that's what I'm saying! Oh, He's got to get that arm bar on. He's got to get it on. Oh, and able to bridge out of it. Oh! Nice inziguri as just as Simon Grimm was about to get up. Once he got it here, a little gut wrench. Backing him up! German suplex of his own! Oh, look at the angle of Simon Grimm's neck rolling all of his body weight, vertebrae by vertebrae, over. You know just as well as I do. Once you're on Dream Street and you get hit with those big moves, it takes yep. a big toll on you, man. There is a nice thing about Dream Street is that nothing hurts after that. If it only hurts tomorrow. <laughs> oh! Able to roll all the way through. Chris Dickinson, oh, pushed him through into it. So he can kick him on the chest, kick him on the neck, picks him up. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Pazuzu bomb. him up one two three kawada style pin all of his weight across the shoulders chris dickinson wins josh briggs is pissed good fucking job chris. hey 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 watch it we don't gotta talk like that